Hey, welcome back to the Sim Lounge. I want to do a short video here on ins installation and running a butt kicker when you also have a USB headset. So I bought the butt kicker, thinking it was plug and play, going to be a piece of cake. Plugged it in. I was getting feedback into my headphones, and I just couldn't couldn't get it right. It was really frustrating. So I ordered a uh, sound card, external sound card, just a little sound card. Link in the description below for seven dollars. <clears throat> off Amazon. Plugged it in, tried this. Still, I didn't gain anything. Uh, race room, it worked great. I went to uh, Automobile Easter or iRacing or wherever else I went. Didn't work good. So I just unplugged everything and I went and bought a s another set of headsets that had the 3.5 jack in it. Used that. Everything works fine. But I want to use my 7.1 headset. So online, YouTube, there wasn't much really getting deep into the X explaining how to make this work they just said this that this there was a software you could use it uh didn't work well it's real taxing on the computer and everything when i ran i and all my bars were in red so it just that wasn't going to work so last night i came in here and i just sat down and i went in deep into the computer here which i'm going to show you and i started messing with settings and stuff and here we are it works now and i'm happy so that's why i'm doing this video to help you guys step by step get through this so you don't have to four or five days like i've been doing trying to get this work yeah so here's my butt kicker underneath my rig see right there this is the next level it came with that post for it but here is the amp and i just want to show you guys how to hook this up so in the back here you have uh your this is to your power your speakers Plug them in. It says negative and positive on it. Pretty simple. The black one here, plug that into the top one, the white one, the red one. You can leave that unplugged. Then here's your power cord, your on and off switch here. And then the front, sorry, I'm just using my iPhone here. The front, you know, you have your low cutoff. You want to leave that out. High cutoff, push that in. Uh, they say for sim racing, run it at about 80 this is, yeah, about 80. Then you have your volumes up and down. This is your remote plug here, which I have mounted right there on my shifter. Turn that on, and you can go up and down with that as needed. So I just put this right under my seat. So the, the uh, RCA cables, they run into, I bought an external sound card right there plug that in there then my headphones are usb they're plugged into the back and that's about it now i'll show you in the computer what settings you should use to get this all to work together right click display settings go to sound drop down here output is my headset my usb headset <clears throat> input the same so then click out of there then we're going to bring up <clears throat> hardware and sound you go to sound and over here this is going to come up so when you put your usb audio device in it's going to come up as default automatically windows is going to make it default you don't want that so what you want to do is right click and you're going to disable it and then disable it then you're going to go back in and enable it and it'll show just ready that's what you want then here's my headset again right click make that your default uh, output device right there. And these are all, these are like my monitors and these are voice meter, that was that software. Okay, so these are other audio, audio stuff that I'm not using, unplug, you know, this stuff is unplugged, it's just not working. So make sure you do that. So five USB, so whatever number it might be on yours depends on how many USBs you have in your computer. That, that is my um, external sound card that my RCA jacks are plugged into, okay? So make sure that's ready and your headset is set to default. Get out of there. Then we're gonna bring up what really makes this all come together. And that is SIM Hub. I don't know if you guys use this or not, but I use it for my dash and now I'm using it for my butt kickers, overlays. It's it's really good. SIM Hub, if you don't already have it, go to Shake It Base Shakers. Okay, now. We're going to start here. Sound output. Again, here are 
your different sound outputs. So, speakers 5 USB, that's the one that I wanted. Send in sound to my butt kicker. Okay? Did you hear that? So that is corners, okay? So we go to mono. There it is. <clears throat> you can do left, left, right. But I have a single butt kicker. So you're not going to get that separation like that. So I just, I'm going to run mono. So you want to make sure whatever USB that is, that your RCAs are plugged into your sound card, your external sound card, make sure that is activated. Okay? So that is right here. Activate it. So then you go back to effects and profile. And uh, profile manager. So I got one for iRacing. I'm going to open that up so you can see it. I don't have a lot going on. I got wheel slip, simulated road texture. That's the only two I have turned on, okay? So inside there, so you can find out what it's going to feel like for the road texture. Or, now this is wheel slip. It's very slight. So when my wheels start slipping, I feel that. You can adjust this now. I'm going to, I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to turn up so you can hear it. Hear that? So that's wheel slip. So you just get in there and you adjust all these accordingly. Whoa. <laughs> right there. It's about that. Back out. And then I have road racing, which I have for my uh, other sims. And this is what I have going here. I have road rumble, road impacts, wheel slip, wheel lock, gear shift, engine vibration. I got that because that'll... After a while, that'll muddy everything up, so you don't want a lot of that. Uh, road texture, same. Got that down. And then RPM's the same. That's at 20. That actually could be a little lower. So that's that's it. And if you want to add effects, you go here, and here's some effects that you can add. Speed, wind speed, curving. You know, cust you can make a custom one. Acceleration, G-force, front and rear. But me only having a one butt kicker, I'm not going to get that separation. So... If I add more butt kickers, then I'll be able to do a front, back, left, right. So that's basically it. So you, you, you get this. You get the one you want. So we got the road one in. Then you go to games. And then you go to whatever game you have that you want to run. And you click on it. And you run your game through here. Make sure your power's on. And you're going to change the way you go racing. Because it's, it's more immersive. It's... Uh, it gives you more information than just your wheel and your pedals. So I just wanted to make this video to help you guys out. Hopefully this helped. Any questions, leave a comment in the description, and I will get right back to you. So again, let me go through this again, okay? So you plug that in. You plug your external sound card, your RCA jack, into the green port. Plug that into a USB slot. Uh, you go to control panel. You go to hardware sound. You go to sound. And whatever that USB is, that whatever comes up as one through whatever, that's going to come up as default. Disable it, then enable it again, and it'll just be ready. And then make your headset, your default device, OK. Bring up SimHub. Go to Shake It Base Shakers. Go to Sound Output. Find that same USB device. Turn it on. Edit profiles and start adding effects and messing with these here. So it's all personal preference, whatever you guys want. So what I do is I have a game running. I'll have this up. I'll tab it. I'll turn on Road Rumble. Go out there and make a couple laps. Okay, adjust it. Come back in. Add one. Adjust it. Add one. Add one. Until I get the feel that I'm looking for. And I'm still messing with it because I just got this going. So some of these here, like gear shift, I love that when you... You grab a gear up or down, it kicks you in the butt. Uh, that's a that's an important one. I make that priority. Let me show you that here. If I'm going too fast, you make it priority. So if something else is rumbling, when this kicks in, you'll feel it. It won't uh, be hidden by something else. So I'm gonna definitely change these and adjust these as I go. Like I said, I just got it working. So now your headsets, everything works great. In iRacing, there is an FFE on the bottom of your sound. 
you can turn that on and that is your uh, butt kicker so you can adjust it there and then inside iRacing you got to make sure you have your headphones hooked up so you get your sound obviously so yeah pretty basic i hope that guy i hope that helps you guys out i was really struggling there for a while i'm pretty frustrated ready to throw the thing out the window but now that i got it working it works incredible you guys will love it so thanks for stopping by and uh, have a happy new year and i will talk to you next year see you later